What's up, YouTubers? Getting this new alternator installed today. Got it all mounted on there, and I run a big old fat wire to it. Make sure it charges good. The wire I had on there previously was little, but I assumed it was big enough. It never caught fire, but then again, my alternator wasn't in count, or it wasn't that strong. And uh, catching fire isn't a good way to check things. Belt hooked on nice. Still lines up real good. Mount still worked great. Needed a longer bolt in the bottom. Because that bottom ear isn't threaded like the 1G alternator is. Let's run that wire in here. I'm going to wrap all this stuff up. Run it through there. I still need to hang this up there, loom it up. Runs through there. And it comes through there and goes over there and my starter solenoid is under the dash over there. So that gauge is, that gauge wire on it is six gauge. Um, it was what I was using for the battery itself. So I'm going to get a better wire for the battery. So I kind of robbed Peter to pay Paul. So that my power wire here was 6 gauge. So I'm going to get a, a fat one like a, like a zero or a double zero. And everything should be good. So I finally got a couple hours to come over here and take care of this. I got to get ready to leave now. I'm gonna get this, get this thing, this wire strung up in the harness up there. The harness runs on the bottom of this. It's hooked to the bottom of these uh, J bolts. And uh, get everything bolted up. And the only thing I have to do is actually is to run the uh, battery cable up to the starter solenoid, and then it'll be it'll be finished, wired up. So I'm gonna get it buttoned up and uh, put the wheel back on, let the car back down, and call it a day. Anyhow, guys, take it easy.